faux forest friends, I'm out in my backyard again, and today it's a little bit windy, it's a little bit cold, but I'm outside looking for birds, and I don't know if you can see, I basically live in front of a forest, so there, there's, there's a lot of green space, there's a lot of trees, and this is a perfect place to have listening ears, watchful eyes, maybe even some binoculars, and play I Spy. So I have a really cool craft project for you. I've drawn out some birds that I have found in my backyard. And I know that maybe not everybody has a backyard or maybe um, it's difficult to spot birds where you are. It's possible. And so you could color my sheet or you can make your own backyard birds page. And so in order to do this, we've got to be really watchful. We've got to pull out our really big eyes and look really really high and look really really deep into the woods and most of all we've got to be really quiet because I think birds get spooked a little bit if we're really noisy if we're stopping and running through the forest which is fun for for games for enjoying and adventuring but if we want to color some birds today we're gonna have to be a little bit quieter than normal so <clears throat> Come on, come on in on this adventure with me. I'll have my arts blanket set up, which some of you might recognize. And you know what, today's a little bit harder for me because I'm used to having your watchful eyes and and, and I know that you guys are really good at spotting birds and woodland animals. And so I'm gonna try my best, but I will need your help. So if you see a bird, you better tell me. All right, let's get started. So today, you guys are looking through my binoculars. <gasps> Isn't that so cool? So hopefully, if I'm quiet enough, you might be able to spot some birds with me. I don't know. It's awfully quiet today. I am having a little bit of trouble finding some birds. I can hear them, but I can't really see them. And so I do have some tricks up my sleeve. I have a little bird house and I fill it with seeds that some birds like. And so I'm gonna wander up to my bird feeder and see if there are any friends there. And meanwhile, as I wander up, I think it would be cool if you just press pause for maybe two minutes. Look outside your window, go outside if you have a backyard, and be really quiet. Look high up into the trees, into the branches, look deep into maybe if you have some tall grass or if there are some bushes, because birds like to nest in bushes. So I can really hear the birds. I just can't see them. It's really thick in there. All right, I'm gonna wander up. I'm gonna get my coloring sheet ready and I'm gonna tell you about the birds I found in my backyard. So I'd love to know what birds you guys see because I bet you there's some in your backyard that I don't have or I haven't seen yet. So send me some of your pictures of those cool birds. Oh, he left. Well, shows you you gotta be really still and really quiet. I guess I was a little bit too fast for him. Okay, friends, I found a little fox sparrow. These guys are normally down low at the ground, dancing in the leaves. I think this one's a little bit cautious of me, but normally they're dancing a little bit. If I get closer, I don't think I can. 
They're a little bit orangish brown. I'm trying to focus on it. Whoops, it's a little bit windy. There we go. There they go. They're up on the blackberry bushes now. Let's see if I can find them. A fox sparrow, guys. Wow, we've, we found two birds already. All right, I'm gonna keep looking. Robin. <clears throat> you guys remembering the colors? It's birds. Maybe fox sparrow will come back again. Okay, out the window. So if you're doing this backyard bird scavenger hunt, you can do it inside or outside. Maybe not all of us can be outside right now. That's okay. Do you look like any of the birds on our backyard sheep? Oh. Looks like he's wearing a fancy suit. Hmm. Which one was that? Friends, I've spotted another bird. Anyone notice what color he is? Very pretty. Does the shape remind you of any birds on our list? Take a peek at your sheep. It's quite small. Bit of a pointy beak. Let's see if I can zoom in with the binoculars. friends I am currently sitting on my painting blanket which most of you are quite familiar with used to seeing it covered in paint and we usually take time to draw a picture for dad or mom or maybe paint a pine cone or do a little craft and today I have this really cool backyard birds sheet which I've got the link posted there um, when you see one of these birds I guess because we found Mr. Robin, we should paint him in. All right, so get your crayons or your uh, paints out, I don't know, anything you might be using. And, whoops, technical difficulties. Um, we can wait patiently and paint patiently while we wait for more birds. And each time you spot a bird, color him in. And if there is something, if there's a bird that's not here on this sheet, just add him in. Paint it on. I'd love to see. I'm going to see what other birds you've found. There's so many birds. Let me know, okay? It's a little bit windy. I'm going to tuck my sheet into my knees. And I'm going to grab my paintbrush. Whoa. And do you remember what color Mr. Robin's chest was? Yeah, you do. Red. It was kind of orangey red. So go ahead and mix your colors. Reddishy orangey. And we're just gonna nicely paint our little Robin's chest. So remember we get our paint brushes wet, we pick our color. Spread it all in. Awesome. Do you guys remember what color Mr. Robin's wings were? Were they red too? Were they blue? Were they green? <laughs> I think they were gray. So I'm gonna mix a little bit of my black. Don't worry friends, I'm keeping an eye out. I've got my bird eyes out. Don't see any birds yet. I'm probably being a little bit too noisy for them. 
So I mix some white in with my black to lighten it. I'm sure some of you know that kind of trick. If a color is too dark, you can add some white paint to it. Oops, and we'll brighten it up. There we go, some gray. I'm just gonna paint in my robin. Ooh, can you hear the birds? Can you guys hear them? Whoops, colored outside my lines. That's okay. And what color was his beak? Anybody remember? You might have to go rewind, look at the bird through the binoculars again, or peek out your backyard if you have robins. I think it was yellow. I'm gonna grab my yellow and just do a nice little yellow beak. Whoops, there we go. I'm a little bit messy, but that's okay. All right, so it's starting to rain a little bit. I'm gonna try and paint my fox sparrow. I remember seeing a lot of brown. What do you guys remember seeing about my fox sparrow? You can comment, tell me if I've missed anything. Maybe you think I got the wrong color. I do think it needs more orange. I remember seeing quite a bit of orange. Whoops. Oh well. It was kind of speckly down here, wasn't it? So I'm gonna try and get some dark spots. Oof. Whoops, it's quite wet. There we go, a little fox sparrow.